With the smell of sewage in the air, San Diego representatives Scott Peters, Juan Vargas, and Sarah Jacobs got to see the plant for themselves. Federal and state officials, including Deputy Secretary of State Richard Verma, were along for the tour as well. This has taken too long uh, to get fixed, but thankfully we are on a better path today. Peters says a big reason why the problem today is so hard to solve is because of years of neglect. Between 2010 and 2020, over 10 years, only $4 million was spent on this plant's maintenance. Over the last few years, that has changed in a big way. Peters says over the past 18 months, $31 million has been spent on maintenance and repairs to bring the plant into compliance with its clean water permit. This is intolerable. The treatment plant and the area around it are in Representative Juan Vargas's district. Vargas says the problem has gotten so bad this summer because sewage flows, tens of millions of gallons a day, continue to pour into the Tijuana River. He says that usually doesn't happen during the dry season. But Vargas says serious progress is finally being made, partly thanks, he says, to Mexico starting to take the issue seriously. They finally have some urgency to it. Now, there's a whole bunch of pipes that are broken on the Mexican side also. Now, there, they haven't been quite as forthcoming, just to be frank. Still, big money is now being spent to fix things, more than $400 million to repair and expand this plant. A main theme to emerge here today is that more progress is being made to solve this problem than ever before. But Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre says it isn't happening fast enough. We are living in life or death situation, and I'm not exaggerating. Aguirre repeated her call for President Biden and Governor Newsom to declare a state of emergency here to help speed things along. The levels of hydrogen sulfide that we are all being exposed to are hundreds of times above the safety levels for humans. Yes, fixing and expanding the treatment plant will make a difference and a dent, but it will not address the primary source of pollution to us, which is the Tijuana River itself. That's why we need the state of emergency. But Aguirre says she fears, even with the commitment of hundreds of millions of dollars, a true lasting solution to this stinky hazardous problem may still be years away. John Carroll, KPBS News.